Hi, I'm Naomi with the Naomi Butler Show, and I apologize, I have not posted any videos for a while, but I've been purging and packing and moving and donating everything from the office to close down the office so we could work remotely, and then also doing that for the personal stuff where we live, reducing everything, getting rid of a lot of unnecessary stuff. It's amazing when you start getting rid of stuff, it feels so good, and it's kind of like getting rid of all those negatives in your life. And today I'm going to be talking about mainly facing the unknowns when it comes to scans. And this is something that has been put to the test in a big way recently for me. I had cancer found two years ago as of yesterday. So this is my quote cancer anniversary, I guess. And you go through the treatments and you get through it and then you have the scans to make sure on a regular basis that the cancer has not come back active, that it's still staying low, that kind of thing. So I'm going to talk about when you're facing scans because I know it firsthand. My scans have come back with no active cancer until recently. I had two MRIs, brain and neck, in September, and those came back good. The parotid gland cancer that I'd had here had not reoccurred, so that's still good. The PET scan showed new nodules in my left lung. And when I met with the radiologist, he had said that we need to do a couple of things and we're going to have other scans in early November to see if it comes back better or worse because the PET scan on the new nodules said that it was likely inflammatory slash infectious rather than malignant, but they couldn't rule out malignancy. And I think we all go through those fears. There's real fear. There's real worry because we think, okay, has it spread? Has it come back? And what's going on here? And it's just, it can be frightening. It can cause you to let fear and, and worry just take over. And I know we're human and that can happen. And even having to tell your family that they found new stuff. It's, it's tough. And so I think for me, knowing what I went through the first go around and also claiming God's victory in that, that he would zap that tumor and get rid of the cancer so that I could fulfill his plans and promises and whatever he wanted me to do here still I was asking for more time. I really was. And I was fighting for my life that first go around and I made it and I'm still here. And I'm so grateful. I think when we have new stuff come up, it's it's starting all over in a way. We're 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 just like, okay, what popped up this time? What do I need to do this time? How can I make it better? How can I go go away? And we just we pray and we just have to trust. I think right now even not knowing is it's just one of the biggest fears you can face and also i had to do away with my insurance because of covid and so if this comes back better in november all is good if it comes back worse then they want to do this real expensive CT-guided lung biopsy and pulmonologist bronchoscopy with biopsies, lots of words, but it's real expensive. And so I don't know what's going to happen. I just have to do what I tell others to do. I just have to trust God through the process and, and just trust him even when I don't understand, helping me to get through every difficulty that that I'm dealing with and same goes for you. I think we just need to understand that God's there to walk with us through and carry us through every storm, every tough situation, every unknown. And when we trust what I learned 
is when I trust God through it, I have peace. And when I let worry and fear take over, then I just feel anxious in everything and all the way through. So trusting even when we don't understand helps us and just turning to God in those good and tough times is so helpful and also being grateful. I'm grateful today for being here. It's been two years since they found my cancer that was to have killed me a few months later. And so I'm grateful for being here. No matter what I face in upcoming scans, I'm grateful for today. And I think that's the lesson that we all have to learn through every fear is trusting God and being grateful and knowing that he's going to carry us through every storm that we go through. I hope this helps you because I know so many face so many unknowns and fears when they're dealing with scams coming up. And even at the very beginning, if you don't know you have cancer and you have those scans and you're, you're afraid, it's real. But just trust God through it and know that he's got you in his hands and leaning on him will give you that peace that you need. So I hope this helps. Thank you.